Hi, I'm dating expert Hayley Quinn and I'm joined by... Uh, I'm Ollie Pierce. And what we've been worked out is that loads of you guys out there are struggling to put together an amazing online dating profile. So if you're currently not getting the views, the matches, your messages are going nowhere, in this new three-part video series, we're going to be breaking it down and explaining to you how to get great, how to get great pictures, how to write an awesome profile, and what messages to send to the woman. In this first video, we're going to be looking at the guy's pictures. Yes, so first things first, we are going to help you with some top tips on how to get the all important images you need for your five, six, seven image portfolio for online. Because so, there, I think with Instagram and stuff, there is yeah. a, the profile expectation and the picture expectation yes. that people have has <clears throat> gone sky high. Mm -hmm. So Ollie is... Uh, I am a stylist and an image consultant, but I'm also a model. So... That is one of the big areas which I help guys with when they're doing online pictures is to get the right pose, the right ambiance, mix that in with the style, their wardrobe and get pictures which really sort of have a bit of a punch to them. Amazing. So I'm going to look forward to seeing the photos and yeah. how you put them together. Cool, cool. Okay, gentlemen. So yes, this is part one in our video series on how to master online dating. And for part one, we are obviously going to be dealing with how to get the best pictures, the best photos for your online profile. All right, obviously online dating is incredibly superficial, right? Nobody knows each other. It's all on the strength of the images. Note how I didn't say it's all about how good you look in the images because often the most handsome guys or the best looking guys don't actually get the best results. Um, so we're gonna show you what we mean by that and how to combine all the important factors online which are your style, your appearance, your facial expressions, the location and the general overall vibe of your online profile. I'm going to give you some tips on each area to make sure that you're making the most out of what you're putting out there. Okay, so before we expand on these tips which are going to help you to master your online photos, I'm going to recommend that you take a shitload of new pictures. Most guys are putting a mishmash of pictures from different eras in their lives, different resolutions, you know, one of them back at uni, one of them skiing on holiday, different styles, different haircuts, different ages, different eras in their lives. This gives it no con continuity, no one gets a real vibe for what you're like or your character. I mean, this is a really serious point, right? If you see a profile and the first picture is low resolution, it's a crappy picture. Most people who are looking online, if they see a crappy picture, bad resolution, or it looks really old, they think crappy picture, crappy guy, you know, and they don't want a match of you. They're not going to respond to you because you've got no effort. And if you don't put any effort into yourself and your online image, your public profile, then why would somebody who's put a massive amount of effort into their time and appearance, i.e. an attractive woman, decide to give you any time? when you don't really reciprocate that by putting any effort into yourself. So your pictures have to have the same amount of effort as you would invest into your life as a high status male. If you're not a high status male and you don't put any effort into your life, then you have no real value. If you don't value yourself, then a woman with high self value is not gonna value you either, if you get my drift. So what I suggest you do, first things first, is seek somebody who can help you professionally. Obviously, I help a lot of Haley's clients and my own private clients with their online profiles. I actually shoot the pictures. Any inquiries on that one, then hit up Haley. Um, however, if you can't afford to hire a professional who can help you, then get a friend of yours with a quality iPhone to take a few hundred pictures of you. You heard me right, a few hundred. That is absolutely nothing. For one good image in a professional model shoot, a magazine, which we're opening every day, they're gonna take about 300 pictures just to get that one good image. So you've gotta think in that way as well when you're doing your pics. So get a mate, if you can't afford professional advice, to take a shitload of pictures for you first and choose the best one. So once you've done a shitload of pictures, let's think 100 pictures for every one image you use from that, from that 100, you're gonna do that in a few locations. All right, so you're going to get a few different styles of clothes, a few different facial expressions, different vibes to go into your overall portfolio. So that mate of yours is going to have to be very patient, buy him a pint later or something, because you're going to want him to take minimum 500 pictures for you just to get five which you're going to use for the final product, your online portfolio. Okay, so once you've got your mate who's going to do that for you, then make sure you use these tips to make sure your images are really going to attract the maximum amount of positive attention. Okay, so with all that done, and we've got our great images, okay, 
having followed the tips I'm about to go into, what you want to do is pick the best social images you have already, or maybe one of you paragliding, or skiing, or doing a cool activity, or you know, in front of a pyramid. The best images only, right? I'm going to give you tips on how to choose them, and then you mix them in with the pictures you've taken purely for your online profile. So you've got a mixture of you looking cool, posing with different outfits, different locations, different expressions, mixed in with your social pictures. However, if your social pictures or your, or your pictures at a cool location or with a celebrity or whatever, if you don't look good in them, then forget about it, right? Don't use them. What we do not want is pictures taken in a place like this. This is a grey wall or a white wall. It's a professional studio. There are lights all around me right now and it looks like a professional studio. So you want them to be on locations. You don't want it to look professionally done. So let's think more of fashion magazine vibe rather than a portrait studio vibe like I'm in now. If it looks like you've had professional pictures done, you're sitting in a studio in your best jacket looking a bit manic, it makes you look a little bit creepy and there's too much effort has been invested. Remember, you're trying to be effortlessly cool in the world of dating. This is how I look every day. This could be me walking to the supermarket for a pint of milk. I'm always this cool. Not that I've paid somebody to make me look this good in a professional studio. So we want to tread the line, have really good images, hopefully done on at least professional equipment, and if possible with professional guidance by someone like myself. And if not, then we go down the route of getting your mate to do them. Okay, gents, so here is the start of our first list of points you need to follow when we're thinking about your aesthetic appearance, i.e. the way you're looking in the pictures. First things first, remember, it does not matter where you are or who you're with. You could be in front of Buckingham Palace having a laugh with Barack Obama. Okay, that's a great location and a great celeb to be seen with. But if you don't look good, you don't post it, right? It's better to have you in front of a plain wall looking hot with a great smile than in a really good location with a really cool person looking terrible. Remember, it's all superficial, it's all aesthetic, and it's all about how sexy you are. So let's make sure that, the, so let's make sure that your photos are reflecting you looking cool, looking handsome, looking sexy, rather than the activities you do. They're a secondary bonus. Online dating and the strength of the images you use are not purely about having high cheekbones or killer abs, great muscle. Obviously, these kind of physical traits are a massive bonus. The sexier you are, you're going to get more sexual attention from the opposite sex. That's an obvious, it's a given. However, women are not like men. When they don't really base the way they date and the men they cover purely on sexuality like men tend to. Um, with a man, it doesn't really matter so much the woman's style or her image. It's much more important just her straight up beauty, her aesthetic value. Um, with women, it's much more about the overall package which you're presenting. So the kind of guy you are. Does he dress cool? That makes him a cool guy. What does he do? What kind of music is he into? What kind of tribes does he follow? What is he into? What kind of guy is this guy? What kind of man is the guy on the profile we're looking at? So you need to make sure you're a cool person. To do so, obviously your image is going to be dictated by your clothes. You are what you wear, clothes make the man. So your image is absolutely integral. It's the most important thing in making sure these pictures work. Dress like a cool guy in society, that is how you are viewed. So basically your image says what your social status is, or your level of cool anyway. But also they can convey a sense of high personal income, a sense of a travelled man, a man who has good activities going on. You know, it's a really good one to have pictures of you skiing or something. It shows that one, you can afford to ski. You have the money to be able to go skiing. You can do that. It's an extra element to your life. But be careful. Remember what I said before. Aesthetic values are always the most important, the aesthetic value of the image. So if you are there skiing, you've got an awful bloody great big helmet on, some badly fitting sunglasses and a sunburnt nose, and you're looking all chubby in your skiing gear, that's a bad image. Take the helmet off, find an angle where they can't see a sunburnt nose, take your big jacket off and wait till you're at lunch before you get the picture, rather than have it on the slopes all togged up. The same if you're canoeing. Nobody wants to see you in a life jacket up to here with a red crappy plastic helmet on. However, if you'd taken off the life jacket and the helmet and gone and stood next to some wavy ridges or something with the canoe looking awesome and muscular and suntanned, 
that'd be much better. So let's think about the style combined with the pose and the location. All three of these things are going to be equally important in making the image you really want. Okay, so that point actually leads into our next one on location, right? The location you choose should be congruent with the clothes you wear. So let's think, if you're in a country manor, you know, there's a, a fine country manor house behind you, you don't want to be wearing a baseball cap and trainers and looking very super urban. Again, if you happen to find a really urban look, a really cool wall with graffiti on it or something, you don't want to flash up yourself in a three-piece suit looking like you're out going to the Oscars. It doesn't work. So make sure that the style you're wearing is congruent with the picture you're going for. Very important point. Choose your locations well. Try to go for colours which match in the background with the clothes you're wearing. So say you're going to a park, autumnal park look, always a nice picture. You want to go for lots of sort of crimsons, dark browns, lighter red colours mixed in with green in the outfit the guy is wearing to go with the backdrop. If you want to go for an urban look, maybe a black leather jacket, a black graffiti filled up, shabby looking urban backdrop, a wall or something like that, or a disused house as your backdrop, because that's going to be congruent with the clothes the guy is wearing, and thus the whole vibe mixes in, and it really, really sort of transmits an essence, an aura about the person who we're looking at. When people are looking at your pictures online, they're instantly imagining what they want to take from your profile. So let's really set a scene which makes you look so cool that they have no choice but to imagine you as a very cool guy. A cool guy in each of his different cool sides of his personality. The high-end cool guy outside the, the, the summer house, the country house. The urban, tough uh, cool guy sitting on some stairs outside a disused factory. The cool clubbing character in a nice velvet blazer with a polar neck and a big bottle of champagne looking dashing with a great nightclub backdrop. The cool guy on holiday um, wearing some really nice summery clothes on a beach with a beautiful sunset behind you. You see what I mean? We're going to match the location to the style and also to the expression. Okay, so that brings us on to our final area, which is of huge importance when you're mastering your online dating profile pictures, and that is how to get the right expressions. Basically, you need to learn how to brood, how to smile, how to pose in general, and how to look mean. Okay, so that was me giving you some little on-the-spot posing tips However, if I was to go into depth on these areas, that video is going to be about an hour long. This video is going to be about two hours long. So we're going to flash up a link and we're also going to put that in the description box to a video we made recently on the tips of how to pose so your Instagram, of how to get the best poses so your social media or online dating sexy. In that video, I'm going to show you a load of old model tricks because I'm actually a professional model. For those of you who don't know, I'm a fashion model, um, so I've been in the game for a long time. And I'm going to give you some insider tips on how guys and girls like myself use certain facial expressions or ways of creating those expressions to get the very best images possible. So now having our final completed images, the last thing is to, of course, choose the best ones. Don't always choose the ones where you think you look toughest and most macho. Guys tend to always choose images when they look hard, posing too much, right? Women don't really respect that. That's men thinking they look sexy, too blue steel. Don't know if you've seen Zoolander or Magnum Steel, whatever it's called. Far too much of that. Women want something where you look sexy and cool, but they like a bit of smile, a bit of natural expression, right? So choose the best images. Maybe ask a female friend to help you and then use filters. We don't suggest loads of After Effects, don't use Photoshop, don't go too into it, but use some filters. Instagram, for example, has really good filters. Don't over filter your pictures. Just make sure you've got a bit of natural tan. Maybe take away a bit of shadowing. Mess around with it a little bit to make sure the colours are as pleasing as can be. And then you're ready to do damage. And the next step is to make sure you've got an amazing written profile and that we'll be covering in installment number two of our online dating profile mastery video series.
So stay tuned for that one, gentlemen. Amazing. I love the photos. And I think what was cool, cool is that you created a consolidated yeah. like brand identity. Yeah. I think so many guys, they prioritise, I know, having a picture of a pyramid in the background. Yes. But their styling is not great. The lighting is bad. They, yeah. You can't really clearly see them in the picture. Mm -hmm. Totally. Um, yeah, so I think that what the tips you gave are really valuable. So guys, if you have been listening to this, have a good harsh look at that online dating pictures. Don't take a picture with an ironing board in the background, clean <laughs> the kitchen, get some really good natural lighting going on in there. Um, and we'll be back again with the second in this video series. If they want to find out more about your work, where can they find you? Yeah, we've got plenty of fashion and other dating related lifestyle videos on my YouTube channel. That is Make Me That Guy at YouTube. It's in the description box. Plenty of fire on there. And we'll be back with part two, as Hayley said, very soon. Absolutely. And if you guys, Ali also gives his expert advice on my Hayley Quinn Academy. So I'll yep. also be putting a link both to Ollie's network and to Hayley Quinn Academy, where we look at basically, we take a 360 degree look at dating, which of course includes your online dating stuff and your personal style. So we'll be back again soon with another video. See you. Peace. Bye.